Parkinsonism is a slowly progressive degenerative neurological disorder characterized by tremors, muscular rigidity, bradykinesia, and postural and gait abnormalities. It is the fourth most common progressive neurodegenerative disorder among the elderly affecting 500,000 people in the United States alone. Five out of a thousand people suffer from this kind of disease, and it's most common in women. This is the fourth most common neurodegenerative disorder. What is Parkinsonism? One of the main factors required for normal body movement is the production of dopamine, a neurochemical transmitter produced by cells on the brain. Dopamine is stored in the nerve endings, and when dopamine is required, it will move from one nerve ending to the next, and hence, the body movement can take place like moving a muscle. In people with Parkinson's disease, these brain cells lose the ability to produce enough dopamine required for normal movement. When the majority of these brain cells have been lost, the symptoms of Parkinson's disease commence. I am 60 years old and I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. At first, I didn't know that there was something wrong with me. Until this one time, I experienced tremors almost every day. It had affected my relationship with my child. I have to stop working and that caused my child to carry the burden of my disease too. I was very young when my father left us. I I only had my mother by my side. She's the only strength I had. Everything was going well until my mother was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. At first, I didn't know what to do, but I need to be strong for my mom. I started working at an early age while studying to support the medication of my mom. A wide range of professions can help people with Parkinson's. This includes specialists, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, speech therapists, dietitian, pharmacist, social worker, counselor, and psychiatrist. Like for example, featured specialist Dr. Amelia Suarez specializes in the evaluation and treatment of Parkinson's disease and other movement disorders. Parkinson's is a disease that affects movements with symptoms such as muscle tremors, stiffness, and tiredness. Symptoms gradually worsen, leaving some patients wheelchair-bound. But each case was different and no one could say how quickly the disease would progress. I will never forget the day I was diagnosed. We went to a specialist and looked for answers. 
I'd spent half an hour doing tests that seemed pointless. Drawing circles on a piece of paper. Making pincer movements with my hands. Walking up and down the room. Then she said, You have Parkinson's disease, and it wasn't curable. There are two types of Parkinson's disease the primary or idiopathic, and the other one, secondary Parkinson's disease. The primary Parkinson's disease cause is unknown, while treatment may be palliative. The disease is incurable. Scientists have hypothesized that the primary Parkinson's disease is due to the absorption of highly potent neurotoxins like manganese, carbon monoxide, and MPTP, which is a product of improper synthesis of synthetic heroin-like compound. It could also be due to exposure to radicals. Secondary Parkinsonism has an identifiable cause and is curable. Only a small percentage of cases are secondary about 5 to 10 percent in population. Secondary Parkinsonism may be caused by drugs including dopamine antagonists such as phenothiazines, butyrophenones, and reserpine. It may be also becoming from chemical or toxin poisoning such as MTMP and heavy metals. Syphilis and encephalitis can also cause secondary Parkinsonism. An elderly couple from North Calarmine had been diagnosed with secondary Parkinsonism. Good, 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 good
There are five stages of Parkinson's disease. Stage 0, with no clinical signs evident, which is asymptomatic. Stage 1, with unilateral involvement, including the major features of tremor, rigidity, or bradykinesia, with minimal functional impairment. Stage 2, with bilateral involvement, but no postural abnormalities. Stage 3, with mild to moderate bilateral disease, mild postural imbalance, and the ability to function independently. Stage 4, with bilateral involvement and with postural instability, and the patient requires substantial assistance. Stage 5, which is the severe stage in which the patient is restricted to bed or wheelchair unless aided. Parkinson's disease signs and symptoms can be summarized into TRAP. T for tremor, which is most evident at rest due to low dopamine and high acetylcholine in the body. Follows after tremor is limb rigidity, which is also due to high acetylcholine release in the body, causing muscle weakness. Next is akinesia and dyskinesia. And last is the gait and postural abnormalities, which is described as a robot-like characteristic. Besides for Parkinsonism, we also have other body movement disorders. Polismus, violent movements of limbs as in Korea. Athetosis, or a continuous stream of slow, sinuous riding movements typically of hands and feet. Dystonia, in which sustained muscle contractions cause twisting and repetitive movements or abnormal posture. Ticks, in which movement or sound occurs intermittently and unpredictably out of background of normal motor activity. of medications that help alleviate the symptoms of Parkinsonism. The people with Parkinson's disease can take different kinds of drugs, like the precursor of dopamine agonists, which are the levodopa plus carbidopa, or it could be the direct acting dopamine agonists like the bromocryptine, pergolide, promipexole, ropinirol. Also, another kind is the catechol o metal transferase inhibitors, which are the tocopone and entacopone. Also, the indirect acting dopamine agonists, like the amandadine and selegiline. The last one, could this kind of people can take anticholinergics or antimuscarinics, which are the benzerpine mesylate, biperidine, trihexyphenidyl or phenidine, and procycline. Doctors diagnose Parkinsonism based on the signs and symptoms that the person may present with. Sometimes, these symptoms can be quite obvious like tremor. The doctor will conduct neurological examination and ask their patient with a list of questions focusing on his or her symptoms history. There are currently no specific tests to diagnose Parkinsonism, but brain scans can be used to rule out other disorders. An MRI scan is usually performed as well. Unfortunately, there is no cure for Parkinsonism in present. However, there are a number of ways to treat it. The treatment available can be very effective controlling the symptoms of Parkinsonism. The medication prescribed for Parkinsonism usually works by replacing the dopamine that has been lost or working like dopamine to help the brain produce normal movements. 
replenishing dopamine levels is usually achieved with the help of the drug called levodopa. Levodopa is converted into dopamine. Today's levodopa treatment are enhanced with additional drugs that prevent the breakdown of levodopa, therefore getting more to the brain. Dopamine levels can also be increased by medications called monoamine oxidase B inhibitors which prevents dopamine from being broken down in the brain. The second approach is to use drugs that mimic the action of dopamine. These drugs are called dopamine agonists. These agents activate the dopamine receptors on target cells in a manner comparable to dopamine itself. Levodopa is a gold standard therapy for Parkinsonism. Almost all patients with Parkinsonism will require treatment with levodopa. Levodopa can penetrate the brain and the carboxylated to dopamine. Over time, as the Parkinson's progresses, the effect of levodopa can fade away. In other words, it will wear off between doses. Other side effects that can occur is involuntary movements called dyskinesia. This can develop when the medication has reached the peak in somebody's system or as they fade away. Parkinson's disease can also be treated through surgery. It could be through globulus pallidus internus pallidotomy or deep brain stimulation or lastly through fetal nigral transplantation. Now, we are back to our normal routine, though the symptoms of Parkinson's disease still haunt us. Uh, we know that by the grace of God, we can still live our lives to the fullest. My symptoms have been brought under control since then. I've been taking my medicines properly. I'm hopeful that my disease won't worsen and I will not be wheelchair bound. I don't like to think of the future. I prefer to live in the present. My disease is a constant reminder to enjoy each day and get the most out of my life. It gives me so much motivation and determination. I have my daughter by my side. That's what's important. It only proves that no disease can separate us apart. It's just a transition to a new situation. Let's see. I show her a situation. Do it. Hey, go on. Let's change. 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 Let's I'm <laughs> 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 
Yes, yes, yes. Having said all of this, being a concerned healthcare provider, I advise everybody to take care of their health, maintain a proper diet, and exercise daily. Lastly, always remember that dedicating yourself on how to take care of your health is the best way to combat or prevent indispositions. Alam mo yung matanda na lagi nag-roll na kaso. Hanging nga rin na yung 